Alright, this is just a quick video to help people out who are installing a whole heap of mods at once and they're getting conflict ID errors. Now this video is only going to help if you're getting this kind of error and you're installing your mods one at a time. What you're going to do is make this error come up by launching Minecraft, scroll down, and you'll see that slot whatever it is, is being occupied by a different mod. What you need to do is remember what slot is being used, then go to your .minecraft. What you need to find is a config file for the last mod you installed. Unfortunately, not all mods put their config files in the same place. Sometimes they put them into .minecraft, sometimes they put them into config. Luckily, I already know where mine is. Another thing to note is that all these mod underscores are created by a mod loader and are not actually the mod's config file. So what I'm going to do is open up the config file of the last mod I installed, and then look for the ID that was conflicting. So here it is, 123, and now I have to change it to an ID that isn't being used yet. I for one know that 134 is free, so I'm going to change it to that, close it and save it, and then open Minecraft. One thing that you have to take note of is whether the ID is below 255 or massive, like these ones are at 27,000. Mods that are below 255 must stay that way. Also, there is a limit to how big these numbers can get, and therefore there is a limit to how many mods you can install. Although not to worry, there are mods that increase that limit. Unfortunately, finding free IDs is a matter of trial and error, unless you have not enough items installed, which I'll do a review for sometime later. Now if you go into the not enough items options down here, and turn on item IDs to shown, and hide unused blocks to show unused blocks, what it'll actually do is show you all the IDs that you're no longer using, using this default texture and the IDs here. This will show you all the unused blocks which you can change future mods to. Unfortunately you can only get these IDs if your Minecraft isn't crashing already. Anyway I hope this video helped you install a whole range of mods. Be sure to check out my series if you have the time or check out my other mod reviews. Stray Mav signing off.